a.m. Bye. It is now 7 o'clock a.m. I don't know if you can see me very well, so I will go into the light. There, that's better. It's bright. But anyway, I am going to sleep. And I will talk to you guys later. So I'm up now. And I text message Sergio because he wants to play this. So I'm going to bring it over to his house. Um, so I'm just waiting for him to text me back. So I headed over towards Vacaville because that's where he lives. I don't know exactly where though. And um, I'm just finding caches until he calls me back. So, who's that? Matt right now is calling me. I see why. It's this way in front of me, and look where I have to walk through all this mud. So, I don't know about this one, but we'll see. I'll find a clear way across. I was wrong. It's not across these. It's uh, right here on this post. Right there. There it is. This might be a good place to bring my uh, my go kart. That might be fun. Just looking around this, it's like a track. All of this mud. And I think this would be really fun on my go kart. Big mud puddles. Yeah, it goes over that way. I don't know how far it goes that way, but this would be super fun. I might have to bring my go kart back here soon, and then. Uh, make of that video. Who would want to see that? You would. I know you would. Okay, so I've been at this cache for quite a long time trying to find it and um, this is why. It's somewhere hanging, I think, I think it's hanging in these bushes. And I mean, you just can go in you go under here and you can just keep going further back and you just keep going. And then, and then all of a sudden it's golf course. But, yeah, somewhere in all these trees between here and the freeway, there's a little tiny container hanging from one of these branches. So you can see why this is kind of difficult. So, yeah. I'm just gonna keep looking then.